back to watch another video. This one is a vlog, my favorite kind of videos to share with you. And in today's vlog, I'm gonna be covering my favorite facial tools that I'm absolutely obsessed with that I've been using almost every single day. Give you some tutorials with that. Right now I'm in a public bathroom, which is a very weird place to start a vlog, but when you have a busy day, you just gotta keep it real. So I'm at Myo Detox, which is a myofascial release massage PT clinic experience. And I'm gonna get a treatment from Kayla and I'm gonna tell you all about it, but I'm absolutely obsessed with this treatment. It's in WeHo and it helps with any asymmetries in your body, any tightness, and then it's also personalized assessment so you can gain strength in all the areas that you're weak in. And I'll show you, I have so many asymmetries that pop up, so I try to come like every other month to get straightened out. Then after that, we're gonna do a little work in WeHo and I'm gonna take you to a styling appointment with Elaine Kim. She is gonna do some fall styling for me and I'm gonna share some fall styling tips with you and also some trends we might be seeing. So we are gonna have a very fun day together. Mwah. I feel like a whole new woman. It is so incredible to see the difference after just one treatment. Let me just insert some clips. Next level. So if you're someone who works from a computer all day, I mean, who are we kidding? We all do right now, especially with a lot of people working from home or you're on your phone hunched over and you have back and neck pain, wrist pain, any pain, hip pain, not recommend this more and if you're not in LA or in Canada where they have a lot of different clinics just go on Kayla's Instagram and watch all the different things you can do from home it's super super helpful but mobility is so important and also doing specific strength training that's fits your needs and isn't just like a random workout class when you may or may not be even doing exercises correctly because no one's watching you and you might not be doing exercises that are actually good for your specific needs. So hugely important. It's completely changed my life over the past year and a half since I've started doing it. And now we're off to find some hot tea and a nice place to work. About you loves but whenever I go to a coffee shop and do work I'm so much more productive just not having the distraction of my dog and laundry and making lunch for Nate <laughs> sorry babe we had to make his own sandwich today <laughs> but I got so much done I have some really exciting projects coming up I'm collaborating again with High Smile, which is the non-toxic teeth whitening I am so obsessed with. It is such a beautiful marriage when a brand like that that you're obsessed with and talk about genuinely wants to work with you again. So I have a full YouTube video if you're looking for teeth whitening about the products and the results and all that kind of stuff. But stay tuned, you'll see more on Instagram all about my collaboration with them. And I had the best poke bowl. And if you're not from Hawaii like I am, I understand if you're mispronouncing it because it's not an American word, but it is pronounced poke and not pokey or poke. So if you're ever in a place you want to sound like you know what you're talking about when you're ordering it, just order poke. Easy as that. It's not pretentious because it's a cultural word. You want to pronounce it right. Blah, 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 blah. But anyways, was really good. I also love Sweetfin because they use sustainable fish. So I got the salmon. I also got the kelp noodles as the base, which I love. And then hot tip if you want to make it extra healthy is get the sauce on the side because it really doesn't need sauce. And the sauce is where you can get into trouble with like all the inflammatory oils and sugar. So no sauce or just get it on the side and maybe dip a little bit of stuff in the sauce when you really need it but honestly, it has so much flavor, it doesn't even need it. Now I'm gonna do some quick car glam. 
So I go to the styling session looking not like a hot mess, but I'm excited for you to meet the designer and to get all of her fall tips and just get some inspo for fall dressing because it's fall y'all. In the mornings in LA, it feels like fall. Right now it's hot, but I can't wait for all the cardigans and blazers and suits and just full on fall gear. Okay. I know a place where we can go. It's just around the corner. And I say, oh, it's a night we'll both remember. Oh, sweet surrender. Oh, we're moving close together. Wanna make your hello. This is the beautiful Elaine Kim. We're in her store in Los Angeles and she's gonna share a little bit of her inspiration from her new fall collection for us. That's right, it just dropped this morning and we're so excited. We're online now and in store. And as you can see, I have a very neutral palette, very realistic, but also fabulous at the same time. So, what inspires me always first and foremost are the materials because the materials really suggest the design to me um, it's all about sculpting with the best materials possible and i source them from all around the world italy japan korea france UK, you name it wherever the best things are that's where i go it's like the chef working with the best ingredients to make the best things, well, that's what I do. So the materials as a craftsperson, uh, a lot of it's sustainable and that inspires me. The fact that people are innovating with sustainable, um, you know, technical and modern fabrics, but that are uh, good for the earth, right? Because we want to consume and we want to feel good about it. <laughs> Right? Yeah. We're gonna have what we want to have. Yes. Okay. The second thing that inspires me are the women. I mean, you know, the lifestyles and the travels and the accomplishments of the women really inspire me. I mean, that, like, for me, just tell me a situation. You need to get dressed for something. And it's like, then my mind goes, okay, then that woman needs. Sorry about that. <laughs> the, the woman needs, you know, the, the perfect pants and the perfect over thing and a little cape to put over, you know, to go to a cocktail party, whatever, or go to a board meeting. So whatever it is, that inspires me, that propels me. Um, I'm very uh, inspired by art and design. So so fine art, my, uh, everybody in my, my family happens to be painters. Um, I just came back from New York for um, not just Fashion Week, but also for uh, the Armory Show and um, some other openings. So, um, yeah, so fine art and design, furniture and home decor, all of the, those kind of textures, because my clothes are about living. So, let's live. Yes, I love it. Okay, the shirt jacket, Ooh, right? Yeah, Come that's, on. A, that's a beautiful piece. This maybe I love with that. the wide, widest mm -hmm. leg pant we have, maybe mm -hmm. could yeah, be fun, that could right? Be really Volume fun. on, and you it's can beautiful. bring it in. Yeah, and we can. It's a very cool, unique piece. I mean, we can even show like three ways to wear because this is a dress, love, or a jacket, that's, right? Yeah. Yeah, whatever you need it to totally. be. Totally. All you right. Can, you can sex so it up and you can also make it more masculine. Sorry. Right. So let's let's uh, pull this.
So sustainability, cupro, these two pieces are made from cupro, different combinations. And cupro is the woody ends of cotton that people usually throw away. We take those and we uh, chop them up into the woody fibers, the cellulose. And then it gets combined, it gets put into a silky fiber like viscose. So it feels silky. It does. It's durable like cotton but it's sustainable because we're using the byproduct of cotton production. I love it. And I finally got my cargo pants. Yay. Yes. They're so fabulous. I do. And I just want to do one thing. It's yeah. so sexy when you do it this way, yes. but look at it when you do like volume, volume on volume, let it go floppy. Look so cool, girl. Exactly. So cool, girl. Comfort is fabulous. How darling was Elaine? She was so cute, and I love seeing women, older than myself obviously, who are badass entrepreneurs, have families, and just seem to really enjoy their lives, and that's exactly what I got from Elaine. So it was so fun to work with her, and I'm gonna be posting on Instagram the outfit that she styled me in and add my own little hair, makeup, and accessory flair. So definitely check that out. And now it's time to get into what you've all been waiting for, and that is the beauty tools. I took a before picture so you can see the after, but these are the two beauty tools that I have been using. If not every day, then every other day, I've been really trying to incorporate them into my routine because they do work. And I'm kind of doing a little experiment I'm not getting Botox. I haven't gotten any filler in a really long time. Maybe it's been eight months. And I just wanna see what these tools will do for me because I don't think Botox and filler are bad. I've been getting them for almost 10 years now. They are FDA approved. They've been approved for almost 25, 30 years. They are used in so many different therapeutic health related cases. They're, there's no lawsuits against them preventing them from being produced, sold. So there's so many people out to get Allergan, the people who make Botox and a lot of the different fillers, that if there was a long-term effect that we knew about, and I'm sure that we would know about it by now, then it would not be on the market. So I trust that so much more than so many other products that are completely unregulated. So I'm totally fine with it, but it's expensive. It's kind of annoying to have to go in. It's painful. So I'm trying some different things. And the first thing is zip. I've showed you this before and I've really noticed a difference. So like I said, I took a before picture. I'm gonna show you the before and after, after I do this zip. And then I also, I'm gonna gua sha. So I cleaned my skin and now I'm gonna apply the zip golden gel. And this microcurrent tones the muscles, it tones the fascia on the face. So you just get a little bit of a lift and it doesn't last in the long term. I mean, it might give you a little bit of collagen boost, but really it's more of a temporary lift. If you're consistently doing it though, then you get that beautiful lift every day. And it's really nice to do before a photo shoot, before an event you may have, or if you have a really special Zoom or something like that. And for me, I mean, I'm taking photos of my own face, which my loves gets very weird. It's a very weird job. I'm so, so grateful to be able to connect and educate and just be with you. But taking photos of my own face all day is uh, not always my favorite. And I wanna feel good. I wanna feel like my skin looks youthful and lifted. And I really, really love this device. Plus the founder of Zip, looks so fantastic. She's definitely in her 40s, probably like mid to late 40s, and she looks incredible. And um, she uses the zip, so I'm all about it. The thing that's also cool about the zip is you can feel it. You feel that microcurrent running through your skin. And I think the zip device is much better than the new face because um, it's so much smaller and easier. Is the light on? Let's see here. Yep, okay. Smaller, easier, and it's just something that I like to do. Yeah, you can feel the little, little bit of current, and then you hear the little buzz. It's something you can do when you're watching TV, when you're hanging out, and I don't normally do it in the bathroom like this. I'm just doing it so you can see, but I normally do it on the couch when I'm mindlessly watching TV, so I'm getting a beauty benefit. 
Plus this gel is pretty much just hyaluronic acid. So after you do this, your skin looks so dewy and hydrated. I think a lot of skincare influencers use this as a trick if they need to do a beauty shot and they want their skin to look super dewy and glowy because your skin looks incredible after you use it. So I just do three passes in all the different areas. And then my right side of my face, this side, is a side that I sleep on, which if you can avoid sleeping on your side, I would highly recommend it because you're actually breaking down cartilage, you're breaking down <clears throat> muscle tissue, you're breaking down bone with the weight of your human head. Years and years of weighting this side of your face can make your skin look lax and your tissue look lax, which has happened to me. So I tried to do a little bit more on this side of my face um, just to get a little bonus lift and you'll see I do it with gua sha as well. But for this, I will spare you the entire treatment because it takes a few minutes and I'll just kind of do it in time lapse. But there is a really great app for Zip. So when you first get it, there's not a big learning curve because you just put on the app and it syncs with your device and you can do a ton of different treatments. So if you just want to brighten your eyes or you want to help um, get rid of a zit or if you want like a full facial lift with neck, which is what I'm doing. I mean, I need all the help I can get in my 30s, especially with the neck, uh, but there's no barrier of entry to learning. And then once you do it a few times on the app, it makes it really easy and you can just start doing it yourself. Okay, I'm gonna put on a podcast and also please leave your podcast recommendations below. I'm getting so bored of all my podcasts and I just listen to them so much. Not really a huge music girl, although I did listen to Donda today and I loved it. It's so much better than Drake's new album, in my opinion, but I don't know if that's unpopular. Let me know what you think, but I really love it. I mean, the Lauren Hill song is so, so incredible. That's gonna be my new fall jam, but I'm really more of a podcast person. I obviously love to learn and share things with you. So if you have any good, I love health and wellness. Um, I also love just kind of entertainment podcasts and like comedy podcasts. So I love your recommendations because now I gotta try to find one and I will finish the zip and be back to you with gua sha. Also, I'm gonna link the zip below if you wanna check it out. Revolve sells it and I think has one of the better prices. So I got mine off of there. And then all you do is clean this with alcohol, store it in a cute little zip storage bag, and next we will get into the gua sha. Love me some gua sha. I love my wilding stone. This is what I use for gua sha. This is really effective in releasing tension. Again, it moves around the fascia, the lymph, so it can really sculpt your face. And is it permanent? No, but I find that gua sha, if you're consistent with it, you do get a nice lift and deep puffing that lasts a while. And since I already have a little bit of that gel left over on my face, I don't need to use oil really, but if I'm doing gua sha not after micro microcurrent, I'll put on his facial oil. It's my favorite affordable facial oil. You definitely want facial oil that won't break you out. That's non-comodigenic, as they say. And I'm gonna stop, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna walk you through this a little bit more because it's not as um, easy as the zip, since everyone kind of does this differently, but I have a few hot tips for you that I've learned over the years and that I learned from Wildling, the women who created this stone. So the first thing about gua sha is you want a feather light pressure. You don't want to rake your skin. You don't want to press really hard. You just want it to be really, really light and just feel a little bit of a lift. Also, you want to go to like the back of your neck and do a few little passes to help stimulate the lymphatic system. It's definitely important. It seems kind of woo woo and weird, but you really do need to open up, stimulate the lymph system so you get good drainage. And with gua sha, you are always lifting up. And I try to do about 10 passes on my good side and 15 passes on my low side. And I like to start 
kind of in this jaw area. You want to hold on, kind of give yourself a base, and then very lightly, very gently move up and down the lymph. And you can hear some kind of like crackly crunchies. At least I can because I have a lot of tension. I grind my teeth. So if you want to, you can kind of get in there with a little bit more pressure to try to release those knots, which isn't that crazy that we have knots there? But we do that. I'm gonna go through all the areas with you and then I'll off camera do 10 to 15 passes and show you that after. So after I would do this, then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna try to lift up my upper lip. So I go and just do a little bit like this, upward light movement. And everyone kind of does gua sha a little differently. So if you see something where, if you see, blah, blah, blah try again. Everyone does gua sha a little bit differently. So if you see someone somewhere doing something a little bit different, but it looks like something you might want to try, go for it. As long as you're not really, really raking too hard and you're not going in a downward motion besides to get the lymph extracted and the, the excess fluid, then you're doing it right. So don't stress out too much about it, but this is just how I do it. So I'll do the lip and then I go in and I try to like carve out the cheek area, give myself a nice little definition there. So I'll do my passes and then I'll kind of like go through and bring it all down. On my low side, sometimes I also like to do like a full face, just paddle just to lift it up. Give myself a little indentation in the cheekbone there, not too hard, and all the way up. Then I'll go kind of in the under eye area. I mean, it's similar to what you see with the zip. I'll get in there in my under eye. This is very delicate, don't press too hard. La da da! And then again, like a few passes just to take it down. The lymph structure under the eye is so, so delicate, so be gentle. But if you deal with puff, I really, really think gua sha could be helpful for you. And then, I go in and I do tail of the brow, try to get a little lift here, pretty simple. Another great one that I actually learned on TikTok is you take one of these nodes and you lift underneath your brow. You lift it up and that fascia can get sticky. So even just lifting and sculpting this, you do see a change in your eye and how lifted and open it looks. So there's that one. And then I'll take it this way and work on this glabella muscle, those angry muscles that can get kind of strong and give you those 11 lines and make your face look a little bit masculine. So I'll try to soften that a little bit, do passes there. Then I go in with my comb side and I'll do a little back and forth because I do have some very, very fine lines here. I'll go one way do my passes the other way, and same thing on these forehead lines. I'll go one way, and again, this is about 10 passes that I'll do. And then I go the other way. And then I do it on the other side, so let me do it. Man, I just looked at the before and after pictures. My eyes look so much more lifted and open. It's magical what you can do with just a few things that are so much cheaper than Botox and filler. I mean, those two items would last you years and years and years, and they probably cost as much as one, less than one syringe of any kind of filler together. So just a thought, you may wanna try that if you're interested in something a little less invasive, or if you're a mama and you can't do all of these things, that you can do in a doctor's office, at least you can do this. And we have to focus on the things we can do and we do have control over, right? But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little day with me. I love making a vlog for you, so I hope you enjoyed watching it and I will see you next Tuesday. Mwah.